Hello, Hirschhawks. This is Mr. McDonald, and this is the first of what will hopefully be many useful videos showing you all how to use the technology that we have here at Hirsch Academy. If you ever have questions, please reach out to me. The first thing I am going to show you is how to set up your work email and accept your invitation to use your work email. So I'm going to create your account. I am then going to send you an email and it's going to have your new email address with Hirsch, where to log in, and a temporary password that you will be forced to change as soon as you sign up. All right, so it's going to say who it's from. It's going to be me. And then it's going to say welcome to HirschAZ.org. You're going to have to set this one up first. All right, there it is. Hello, your name, awesome Hirsch teacher, the website, your new Hirsch email account, and your temporary password. And this is where you'll go to sign in. You can sign in at Gmail as well, but this is the link they're gonna share with you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click on this and then click on copy email address. And then I'm gonna click on this link here. It's gonna open up a new web page. And since I have my email copied, I'm going to hold down the control button and V. The control button is CTRL in the lower left corner of your screen. All right. And then I'm going to hit the next button. It's going to ask me for my temporary password. You can hit the Alt tab button and that'll alternate screens and take you right back to where you were. Highlight that couple different ways you can do it click and drag across it to highlight it and then hit control C T R L C to copy it control I mean alt tab to go to the back to the window to log in and then control B to paste the password into the box then click sign in these are the term conditions recommend you read them then click accept and now you're going to create a new password for yourself all right and hit change password mine Make sure they match. Use capital letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and a special character. All right, here you go. You can go through this if you want. You have access to some pretty cool tools. I'll show you more videos on how to use these other applications Gmail, Drive, Google Docs, Sheets. This is like PowerPoint slides, just PowerPoints. You can use forms for taking surveys or giving short little quizzes, calendar, contacts, hangouts for video conferencing. We're going to go to Gmail. That's going to open up. You're going to have access to your email account. 